There are a lot of trends out there right now that can look a little bit frumpy if you don't style them properly. So I'm gonna show you the frumpy version and then I'm gonna show you how I flip it around and make it fabulous because it's all about how you put the pieces together and what pieces you choose. So I hope this video is a fun video for you. Please do not get offended if you like some of my frumpy options because some of them are a little bit cute, but you'll love the fabulous options and it does make them a lot better. So if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also if you're new around here, my name is Jamie and I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and the little bell to get notifications. So I had so much fun creating this video for you. And as I was putting together the outfits, it just really cracked me up because some of these I wore back in the 90s and I wouldn't wear them the same way now. And so if I giggle in this video, it's just because I'm envisioning some of the things that I used to do and I just had a lot of fun putting this together and I hope that you enjoy it and find it fun too and it's probably going to bring back some memories if you are over 40 like I am. So the first outfit I wanted to show you is with a what I'm calling a dad blazer but it's the oversized 80s blazer that has the shoulder pads that come off of the shoulder a little bit and this is a trend that I absolutely did not want to try did not like and this started a year or so ago, and this year I've just fallen in love with it. And so I had to get one, and I have been on the search, and I've ordered, and I've tried on, and I just haven't found the right one until I found this one from Everlane. And it is absolutely fabulous. It fits a lot better than all of the other ones that I tried on. It's still oversized, but in this first outfit, it's not pretty. So it looks like a dad blazer. It looks like I just grabbed that blazer out of my dad's closet and threw it on with my graphic tee, my crop wide leg jeans, and my Chelsea boots. So this is a style that was worn in the 90s. I probably wore this as a long version in the pants, not the, the cropped version. But I wanted to show you this because I think this is very common. And I do think that this is quite a bit frumpy because there is no shape to my body. It makes me look bigger than I am. And in my mind, it's just not very cute. Now, all the pieces are cute, but not worn together. So the fabulous version is so good in my mind because all I did was switch out the graphic tee for a fitted turtleneck sweater. And then the jeans that were wide leg crop, I just made a very loose straight leg and it comes to my ankle. And then I swapped out the chunky boot for the more slim boot. And I just thought this made the blazer look even better. And it just created a very stylish look that I think was a little bit more classic but a little bit trendy. And so I think you could do a skinny jean with this one as well, but I wanted to do the straight leg because this is a very big trend right now. And I just thought that this outfit was absolutely fabulous. Even with that dad blazer, I think it made it look good. And I do love that it had all black underneath it because it just created a really nice silhouette underneath that blazer. And it really put the focal point on the blazer, which I did like. So let me know in the comments below what you think of this one, because I thought it was absolutely fabulous. Also, if you guys want a video with me styling that blazer because you love it too, but have no idea how to wear it, then please let me know in the comments below. And I'm hoping you do because I would love to do a video on that. This is the outfit that just brought back so many memories for me because I remember wearing a version of this when I worked retail back in the 90s when I was in college. And this version is a white button up shirt that is absolutely oversized. I have taken it and put it on with wide leg jeans and I just front tucked one side of the button up because that is the new trend for tucking in your button ups. I don't love that, but if you do, I think that's great. When I wore this back in the 90s, everything was just left out. And literally, I looked frumpy from head to toe. And I also had on combat boots, John Fluvog combat boots. If you know that brand, let me know in the comments. But I just have some Steve Madden combat boots on now and they're super chunky and I love the fabulous version. So let me show you the fabulous version, what I did. So I took a relaxed fit button up shirt and tucked it in and added a belt that added some color to it. So it's a little slim burgundy belt. And I think that creates shape and it actually makes me look taller because I also swapped out the combat boots for a heeled ankle boot. So it would give me a little bit more height and it would actually make the leg of the jean look a lot cleaner as opposed to really baggy. 
And I also swapped out the bag because I thought it needed a structured bag since everything looked a little bit more structured. So I added my blue Teddy Blake bag that I love and it just makes the outfit look expensive. And I also added some statement jewelry to just top it all off. So I thought this version was much better and much more wearable by just about anyone. You guys know that the super high rise tapered leg jeans have been on trend for a while. They're usually called a mom jean. And I wanted to put a pair of these on with a cropped cardigan set because these are very on trend right now. And I see a lot of people wearing this combination and wearing them with chunkier style boots. So I did add my Chelsea boots. And I think these are absolutely ridiculous on me. They look very frumpy. Even though I have a shorter top on, I don't think this works at all. And so I wanted to show you the fabulous version, which I absolutely love. And all I did was take a longer cardigan, put it over this ribbed cream turtleneck that I have, and I tied it in the waist to give me some shape. And I wanted to show you the cardigan in a longer version because I think these are great as long as you tie them at the waist and create some shape. And I did put it on with my perfect vintage jeans from Madewell, which if you've ever worn those, they are a high rise with a little bit of a tapered leg. So the leg does not taper as much. And I think this is more of a flattering silhouette than anyone can wear. That extreme taper can make your hips and other areas just look a little bit bigger. So I thought this was a lot better, even with the longer cardigan going over my hips. And I added a slimmer ankle boot, which is just a sock booty in ivory and it went underneath the leg of the jean. And I think this version still takes that trend of that tapered leg and the higher rise jeans that are so popular and just makes it a little bit more updated and a little bit more modern, which is why I thought this was a fabulous version that I think anyone could replicate. I wanted to take two very popular style dresses right now and give a comparison because the first one I wanna talk about is very frumpy in my mind. It doesn't have a lot of shape and I think it's a style that a lot of people love. So if you love it, I'm really sorry. I just don't find it very flattering on many people. So the first one is a baby doll dress and this looks frumpy because it has absolutely no shape. Now this dress is beautiful in the print, it's beautiful in the neckline and then you get down to the body and it just looks awful. And a lot of the baby doll dresses will have a seam that stops like right above the bust and then you kind of have this shelf that comes out and it's just not flattering and you cannot belt these dresses. You cannot get them to cinch in, there's too much material. So, and I did wanna show you this dress with a flat shoe as well, because I do think that people style this kind of dress this way. And now I wanna show you the next version that I think is a lot more fabulous. And it's the dresses that have the cinched in waist. So you still have that loose skirt and the loose top, you just have a cinch in the waist. And this has elastic that's stretchy. And the great thing about a dress like this is you can belt it because it's already Scrunch. So I added a black belt over it and I thought even with the flats that that looked really good But now I want to show you the version with the heels So I put on my sock booties which have about a three inch heel to them And I think this makes it look even better So you might could make the baby doll dress a little bit better with a heel But I still think all that material and just the oversized look of it just isn't that kind to anyone. So. The next trend is something that you either love or you hate, and I happen to love it at this point, and it's a shacket. So you can see that I have a shacket on in this video, and of course this is going to be part of my fabulous version, so you'll see it here in a minute. But I'm going to start out with my frumpy version because this one I actually wear around the house. I have never worn it out of the house, and I know people wear shackets like this, so I wanted to show it to you. It's this cream Sherpa jacket and it is so warm guys. Like I love wearing this when I'm freezing in the winter time with my leggings and my little fuzzy boots that I wear around the house. And this is perfect because it keeps me warm. But I've styled it here with a black turtleneck to try to make it look good. And then I stayed with the light jeans because I was gonna do the ivory ankle boot and thought that that would work. But the ankle boot is way too chunky. I thought it would balance the shacket but it doesn't and the skinny jean is just way too skinny. So this is a very terrible combination and a very frumpy looking outfit to me. So now I wanna show you the fabulous version, which is with this brown jacket that I just got from Loft and I love this thing. And all I did was layer the black turtleneck under it again with the dark jeans. So 
all of these colors are darker and it just streamlines the outfit and this is comparable with skinny jeans this is just as skinny as the lighter jeans it's just a darker wash so it looks better and then instead of the chunky boot i put on my more sleek ankle boots and just tuck the skinny jeans in and i love this look i think it turned out really fabulous and this jacket even though it is as warm as the sherpa it's a little more streamlined it has a very expensive look to it with you know it's a faux suede and it has pockets which is awesome and i just love this and i will really really enjoy wearing this one and I think this is a good comparison because you can see that not all shackets are created equal. So you could actually find one that looks really special and really good that could last you for a long time because I don't think this trend for the fall and winter is going to go anywhere. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I had a lot of fun making this and I would love to know if you like seeing these comparisons. And I hope no one got their feelings hurt because this is just in good fun. And just to help you think about how you can make some of your outfits look better. So if you wanna check out another video, I will link one here for you. And if you want to subscribe, you can do so right there. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.